In this video, we will talk about the Asian drama Destined With You, using vocabulary and grammar suitable for intermediate and advanced English learners. Listen to part one with vocabulary and grammar suitable for intermediate learners. Then listen to the same content in part two with more advanced vocabulary and grammar. In part two, pay close attention to the idioms and expressions commonly used in advanced English. Okay, let's get started. Part one, intermediate. Destined With You is a 2023 fantasy romance drama starring Jo Bo Ah and Ro Woon. The story is about a woman named Hong Jo who works at City Hall. She is in the Parks and Recreation Department. One day, Hong Jo meets a man named Shin Yu. He thinks she can help him remove a 300-year-old magic curse. He tries to convince her to help him, but Hong Jo doesn't believe in magic. After some strange events, Hong Jo starts to believe in the curse and tries to help Xing Yu break it. As expected, the two fall in love at the end, but many things happen before they can be together. I really enjoyed this story because the characters were fun and easy to watch. Honjo was very kind and cared about everyone, even when they didn't care about her. Shin Yu always tried to do the right thing, even if it made powerful people angry. The story wasn't very complicated, but the actors did a great job of keeping the audience watching. I've seen many Korean dramas with similar stories, so I wasn't sure if this one would be boring or a new take on an old story. After watching it, I think it was neither boring nor exciting. It was just okay. One thing I liked was the connection between the main characters. Jo Bo Ah and Ro Wu made their love seem very real. Their emotions and actions were believable, which made their characters more interesting and their love story more engaging. Another nice part of Destined With You was the beautiful scenery and settings. The magic parts looked great and made the show special. The places they filmed, like City Hall and the parks, were well chosen and fit the story well. This made the show more fun to watch. My favorite character was Shin Yu's good friend and co-worker who helped his mom when she was having a tough time. Even though he had a small role in the show, his character was very kind and caring. Let me know who your favorite character was in the comments. The last thing I'll say is that the writers, directors, and team did a great job of finishing all the stories in the last episode. It really bothers me when a show ends with questions not answered. I think even if there will be another season, they should finish the current season in a way that makes the audience happy. But that's just me. Part two, advanced. In this part, I will speak a little faster and a little bit more relaxed. Remember to watch out for the idioms and expressions often used in English. Okay, let's get started. Destined With You is a 2023 fantasy romance drama starring Jo Bo Ah and Rowan. The story is about a woman named Han Jo who works as a civil servant at City Hall. She's in the Parks and Recreation Department. One day, Hong Jo meets a man named Shin Yu who believes she can help him lift a 300-year-old magical curse on him. He tries to convince her to help him get rid of the curse, but John Hu doesn't believe in magic. Following a series of unusual events, Han Jo begins to believe Shin Yu's curse and tries to help him break it. As expected, the two fall in love in the end, but many things happen before they can actually be together. I really enjoyed this story because of the lighthearted nature of the characters. I feel they were playful and a delight to watch. Hanjo was a very sweet and heartwarming character who cared about everyone, even when they didn't care about her. Shin Yu had moral integrity and believed in doing the right thing, even if it meant offending powerful people. 
It wasn't a very complicated story, but I think the actors did a great job at keeping the audience engaged. I've seen many K-dramas with similar storylines, so I wasn't sure if this was going to be boring or a new take on a familiar story. After watching it, I think it was neither boring nor refreshing. It was just neutral. One aspect that stood out to me was the chemistry between the lead actors. Joe Boa and Ro managed to create a believable romantic tension that kept viewers invested in their journey. Their interactions felt genuine and their emotional expressions were convincing, which added depth to their character and made their love story more engaging. Another notable feature of Destined With You was its beautiful cinematography and production design. The magical elements were visually appealing and added an enchanting quality to the drama. The setting from the bustling city to the serene parks were well chosen and complemented the storyline beautifully. This attention to detail in the visual aspects of the show enhanced the overall viewing experience and made it a pleasure to watch. My favorite character was Shin Yu's good friend and colleague who helped his mom when she was having a tough time. Even though he had a small role in the show, his character was very wholesome and kind. Let me know who your favorite character was in the comments. Last thing I'll say is that the writers, directors, and team did a great job of tying up all the loose ends in the final episode. It's a huge pet peeve of mine when a show is left with unanswered questions. I think even if there will be another season, they should at least wrap up the current season in a way that satisfies the audience. But hey, that's just me. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and I will